This video explains how to convert a Boolean to the integer data class using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we first need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first code box. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the pandas library and we are also able to use the data frame constructor that you can see in the second code box. And in this code box, I'm creating a new data frame and I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a data frame containing five rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2 and x3. And you can also see that each of these columns contains Boolean values. Now we can also check the data type of these columns using the dtypes attribute. So as you can see below this code box, all the columns of our data frame have the Boolean data type. Now let's assume that we want to convert one of these columns to the integer data type. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the next code box. And in this code box, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of the input data frame. And then I'm specifying that I want to convert the column x1 to a new data type using the sType function. And within the sType function, I'm specifying that this data type should be the integer data type. So if you run the lines of code that you can see in the fifth code box, you can see below the code box that our new data frame contains still the same columns, but the first column was converted to the integer data type. So as you can see, the Boolean value true has been converted to the value one and the Boolean value false has been converted to the value zero. We can also check the data types of this new data frame using the dtypes attribute. And as you can see, the first column now has the integer data type. So in the next example, in the seventh code box, I want to show you how to convert multiple columns to the integer data type. And for this, we have to specify within the S type function multiple columns. So in this case, I want to convert the columns X2 and X3, and both of these columns should be converted to the integer data type. So after running these lines of code, another data frame has been created, which is called data new two. And this data frame contains the three columns X1, X2 and X3. And the first column still has the Boolean data type, but the columns X2 and X3 have been converted to the integer data type. Once again, we can check that using the dtypes attribute, as you can see in the eighth code box. And below this code box, you can see that the first column x1 still has the Boolean data type, but the other two columns have been converted to the integer data type. We can also convert all the columns of a data frame to another data type, as you can see in the next example in the ninth code box. And in these lines of code, I'm using once again the S type function. However, this time I'm not specifying any specific columns, but I'm applying this function to the entire data set. So as you can see below this code box, all the columns in our data frame have been converted to the integer data type. And we can also check that using the D types attribute, as you can see in the 10th code box, and below this code box, you can see that all of the columns in our data frame have the integer data type. So in the previous examples, I have explained how to use the S type function to convert a data frame column from Boolean to integer. However, it's also possible to use the apply function for this task. And this is what I want to show you in the next example of this tutorial, starting in the 11th code box. And in this code box, I'm using the apply function instead of the S type function. And once again, within this function, I'm specifying the integer data type, and I'm specifying that I want to convert the column X1 to this data type. So if you run the lines of code that you can see in the 11th code box, you can see below that our data frame that we have created has one column, which has the integer data type and the columns X2 and X3 have been kept with the Boolean data type. 
we can also double check that as in the previous examples using the dtypes attribute and then you can also see the classes of our columns below. So in this case the first column has the integer data type and the other two columns have the boolean data type. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.